Good evening. I want to welcome everyone, regardless of where you are, to the graduation commencement for the class of 2020. At this time, I want to welcome our senior members of the advanced choir from Maslin Washington High School for the singing of our national anthem. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed. And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the that our flag was still there. O St. John's and Star-Spangled Banner, yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To the class of 2020, our families and our friends, I offer you what would normally be my welcome, but in this case, is my sincerest thanks for joining us in a very unique graduation ceremony. I stand here today addressing not a crowd, but a camera. Despite this, I still feel the pride and joy of being able to share this moment with all of you, though this moment may be happening at many different times. I also hope that each of you, above schoolwork, jobs, or anything else, have taken steps to protect your own physical well-being and mental health. My friends, on March 13th, we left school knowing we wouldn't be back for a while, but eventually that transformed into a school closure from which we would never return and which would deprive us of, most, of our most anticipated senior moments. While this unprecedented event affects every aspect of our lives and saturates so much of our current news and media, we mustn't let it dampen the recognition and celebration of all we have achieved. In our time at WHS, we have each had a huge impact, well beyond what we often recognize. You've played a major role in the lives of your, of your friends, helping them to develop and become the persons they are today, just as your friends played the same part in your life. You've been a pillar of your family, one of the most important people in the lives of your parents, siblings, and grandparents. You've contributed to your community in a way nobody else ever could, through volunteering, work, or even just your interactions with others. Interactions that are so unique, they could never be replicated. High school is a stage of our life meant to help us prepare for the world, prepare us to make an even greater difference. As we finish high school, we will each play a part in creating a better world. You have already made a difference that nobody else ever could have made, and I know you will continue to build upon that. I would like to thank you all for the roles you have played in my life, the roles you have played in each other's lives, and the roles you've played in the lives of countless people I may never meet. Finally, I offer thanks for the differences you will all make in the future, whether you go recognized for them or not. Good evening. I frequently get asked in regards to my role as the superintendent of the Masson City Schools. Mr. Salvino, what do you feel are the most important areas that you have to focus on year in and year out? 
Albeit that question I've had for two years, the answer uh, has remained the same to this day. Number one, I would certainly say that it is our responsibility to provide a safe learning environment for our kids and our staff. A learning environment that increases the amount of higher level thinking in the creation of problem solvers. Another responsibility is to ensure that we place the appropriate role models in front of our students day in and day out during school and through after school activities. And to truly assist in the creation of a new generation of learners that can handle adversity. Well, the school year of 2020 has certainly proven to be a large platform for that, for all of us within the Maslin City Schools, and especially our graduating class of 2020. Students, you have certainly, tremendously stepped up to the challenge. You have handled yourself like the Tigers that you all are, and like the Tigers we all knew you would be throughout this ordeal. I know that many of you out there can't help but feel a little slighted or a little shortchanged through this ordeal with missing so many of your extracurricular opportunities, so many of your opportunities to continue the friendships and the relationships you've had in the great halls of Washington High School. But one thing I can promise you and I can assure you is the graduating class of 2020 will be talked about for many decades to come. I have a strong feeling that when you're older and you're talking to your own children and grandchildren about this time in our history, the COVID-19 pandemic, many, many years from now, your responses when asked, what was it like for you? I believe that your responses will be focused in two main areas. One may be, you know, it wasn't that bad. It was a pretty great time. I had an opportunity to have more family dinners together than I'd had in a long time. I had an opportunity to play board games and laugh with my family that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do because of the time constraints and, and the busyness of my typical schedule. Another response may be, you know what? I took that time and I stepped up. I stepped up to help my family. My part-time job became a full-time job. I worked double, triple shifts to help my family pay bills, to help my family get groceries, but I stepped up. Whatever your response, I am certain that every one of you of the graduating class of 2020 will admit how you've grown from this adversity in your life. I wish the class of 2020 nothing but the very best, as you deserve it. Good luck, God bless, and go Tigers. Congratulations, graduates. On behalf of the Board of Education, I welcome you to this year's commencement ceremony. We are all saddened that we have not been able to conduct our commencement in our normal way, celebrating your accomplishments side by side with your classmates, family, and friends. Do not let this virtual ceremony diminish the significance of your accomplishments or the human connections you have experienced. This commencement is in no way of any less importance to our school and community or to your family and friends. In fact, I believe that these unprecedented times has allowed your resilience and willingness to overcome obstacles shine through. These past 13 years, you have worked very hard to walk across this stage and receive your diploma. Some of you may plan to continue your academics working toward an advanced college degree. Some of you may pursue a career through a technical college. Others of you may be looking forward to jumping into the workforce or joining the military. Whatever plans you have, remember the friendships you have made, activities you were involved in, teachers that motivated you, and your family who provided you the love and support to get you where you are today. The, those experiences and relationships will last a lifetime. What I would like for you to remember through these unprecedented times is that change is one thing that is constant. 
life will not stand still. What we are currently experiencing in our nation will pass. However, your graduation accomplishments that will be recognized today will not. Allow this to prepare for, your, for you to pursue your dreams tomorrow. In the words of Dr. Seuss, you're on your own, you know what you know, and you're the one that will decide where to go. We are so incredibly proud of the men and women you have become and proud to call you Massillon Washington High School graduates. Congratulations, Massillon Washington High School Class of 2020. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'd like to start by saying thank you to this school, my teachers, my guidance counselors, my family, my friends, and everyone who helped me get where I am today. Specifically, thank you to my parents, Matt and Stacy, and my five siblings, Jet, Jack, Jackson, Jace, and Reese. I wouldn't be standing here without you. Fellow classmates, this is not how I, or I'm sure any of you, would have imagined this day would be. In fact, these last few months have not been how any of us would have imagined finishing our senior year. That being said, I wouldn't change any of it. These past few months have changed my perspective on a lot of things in life. Things that mattered to me before just don't anymore. I've become more grateful to be healthy and have a family that's healthy too. I've been reminded that I am not in control and I'm learning to place my trust in God and my family because those are the only certainties in my life right now. A philosophy I've always tried to live by is that you can either get bitter or you can get better in the face of adversity. My dad introduced this idea to me when I was six years old. You see, adversity will change you, but you can decide how. You can either let your circumstances make you negative and bitter, or you can get better in spite of them. Another idea I've been trying to live out is one my dad introduced to me as I got older. Respect everything, fear nothing. I think this pandemic is a very scary time, but I will not fear it. I will respect it, and take precautions against it, but I will focus on my faith and my family rather than be afraid. I would encourage my fellow classmates to do the same. Get better, not bitter. Respect everything, fear nothing. We're the class of 2020. We've risen above many things over the past 12 years, and we will rise above this too. Not only will we rise, we'll come out better and stronger than before. Thank you. Our senior year didn't end the way we could have ever imagined. I mean, really, a global pandemic? Why us? Why now? No prom, no senior skip day, no senior prank, no graduation as we know it, no goodbyes to friends and teachers. It's not fair. I'm giving this speech in an empty auditorium. It's not supposed to happen like this. However, this pandemic can never take away from all the memories we've created, the friends we've made, the traditions we've experienced, and the lessons we have learned through our entire four years as Washington High School students. At WHS, we all created amazing memories that we will take with us forever. Maybe your favorite memory is the moment you stood on this stage hearing the crowd applaud as the curtain dropped, or the time you walked into the classroom with your favorite teacher knowing that your bad day was now going to get better, or the second you released the winning shot at the buzzer. No matter what classes, clubs, or sports you were involved in, I hope that you look back on these memories with pride and know that our school is special because in each of every one of us. Over the last few weeks, I have been told that our class set a solid and positive example for the classes who follow us. We, the class of 2020, should be extremely proud of all we have accomplished. As you know, Masson is full of traditions, Masson McKinley Week being one of the best. When we were little, we could go into the school and see the hallways covered in orange and black from floor to ceiling. Even as a senior, this sight gave me chills when I walked in on the Monday after decorating. From dressing up for all the spirit days, the pep rally, the parade, and then the game on Saturday. All of the aspects of this week are truly amazing, and our senior class can forever look back on this rivalry and know that we beat McKinley all four years. I've always been proud to be from Maslin. Our city and school are special, and the tradition here is like no other. From Paul Brown to Lori Lightfoot, we have many things to be proud of. We, the class of 2020, will add to this great tradition. We pursued and achieved excellence in academics, sports, performing arts, caring, and kindness. At Masson, we are winners. We step up when the opportunity is given, and that is something to be extremely proud of. But with so much to be proud of, it can be scary to look onward to our futures outside the walls of this school. C.S. Lewis said, 
there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. I am confident that our futures will be bright no matter the destination because over these last four years, Maslin has taught us how to be excellent, whether it be in the classroom, on the field, on the stage, or in the community. As Tigers, we have been encouraged to succeed in everything we do. Despite the unfortunate ending to our senior year, we are ready for the future. Whatever it looks like for you, college, the workforce, or the military, we have learned our lessons, made memories, experienced new things, been kind, made friendships, and been prepared for success. We are Tigers and nothing can stop us. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know, my name is Kira Cleveland. You might have seen me on the court playing volleyball, throughout the hallways completing National Honor Society tasks, or right beside you in various classes. I know I'm not the most outgoing or social person, but I've enjoyed seeing you guys walk throughout the hallways these past four years, growing to be more responsible and charismatic. During the first eight years of my life, my parents had me enrolled in Kansas City Schools. I think it's safe to say that it's the best decision that they've made not only in their lives, but in my life to move us to Maslin. I can't, I can't speak for anyone else, but I can't imagine graduating from any other school, or more importantly, as a Bulldog. Going to WHS has been so rewarding. I've met some of my closest friends and had the opportunity to participate in the most sacred traditions, such as Massa McKinley Week and the Outstanding Senior Boy and Miss Massalonian Ceremony. Throughout my four years of high school, I was able to observe and learn so much. I learned that when we are faced with a challenge, whether it resulted from competition with another school or from an issue within our own building, we always came together. I can only hope to find the same type of camaraderie in college. I remember the tradition of our own first and last day of school pictures from kindergarten through senior year. Although we weren't able to take the final last day of school picture, we have gratefully been given the opportunity by our administration to walk across the stage today and receive our diplomas and have some of our relatives bear witness to it. If I had to define the class of 2020 with one word, it would be the class of perseverance. It seems as if we are meant to come into this crazy world during 9-11 and complete one of our first huge milestones, such as this graduation during a pandemic because God knew we would persevere. Because of this, I know for a fact that we can handle anything from this point forward. I'm so proud of all of you guys for graduating, especially with everyone's unique life that they go home to, and I can't wait to see everyone succeed in the next stage of life. Thank you. Welcome, and thank you for joining us in a variety of ways this evening to celebrate the class of 2020. During these unprecedented times in our lives, everyone has shared with me what has been lost. However, I wanted to take this moment and please allow me this opportunity to share with you a few things that have been gained by our graduates of the class of 2020 regardless of what has transpired in the last three months of their lives. 64% of our graduates will be attending a post-secondary institution of their choice. 8% of our graduates will be enlisting in the military and armed forces. Another 8% will be immediately entering the workforce. And 2% of our class of 2020 will be attending an educational institution other than a university or college. At our recent awards honors assembly last week, there were $103,000 in scholarships awarded to students from various scholarship committees around the Maslin community. There will be $347,000 in scholarships awarded to students from this particular class of 2020 through universities and colleges. And certainly last but not least, there have been $37,000 awarded to students in the form of grants that they have applied for. It is without a doubt disappointing and heartbreaking to lose the last quarter of the seniors' final moments at Maslin Washington High School. There are memories that have not taken place that capture the high school experience for so many students. And for this, I apologize to all of you. However, however, there is good news. And my advice that my mother 
has always given me is that this too shall pass. There is so much out there for you to explore and investigate. Joys such as new friendships, new jobs, new experiences, and the ability to grow personally and professionally are a few of these exciting opportunities that await all of you. Life, as we all realize, will bring you many, many challenges and setbacks as you have already experienced. No one, none of us, has escaped any of life's hardships. The ability of a person to be resilient, persevere, and stare down these moments of hardship is truly a gift and a blessing. Those that adapt, pivot, and bounce back during these difficult moments of their lives are those that will consistently find happiness and success as you navigate life's trials and tribulations. There is no doubt that many of you are hurt because of the finality of your senior year. However, I am personally excited for your future. I am excited to witness how much of an impact that you are going to make with the life that you have been blessed to have. Rather than dwell upon what you do not have, especially during this time, please always be thankful for the blessings and the gifts that you do have. I personally want to thank you for the relationships that I have built with so many of you. I wish you the very, very best of luck. I love you, and God bless. I now present to you the class of 2020 for the purpose of graduation.
At this time, I would like to welcome any additional members of our senior advanced choir in the performance of our alma mater. I would like to thank the senior members of our advanced choir for the singing of our national anthem, as well as the singing of our alma mater. This does conclude our 2020 graduation commencement ceremony. I would like to take this opportunity to thank so many people that have put this program together. In addition to our media department at the high school, and Mr. Myers, I would like to thank my administrative staff for putting on such an unbelievable and memorable experience for the class of 2020 to personalize this graduation for them. It is never an easy time to go through things of this particular nature, but I am thankful for the people that I have been around and for the people that have supported us in this endeavor to bring this personalized experience for this special, special class of 2020. Thank you all for watching, for attending. Thank you for all of our senior class. We wish you the very best of luck. God bless and go Tigers.